GE and us along with the importance of like and the inspiration is in general and you know discovering your inspiration and working out how you get inspired. Uh, my name is Ian Kerr and I'm an artist. Um, and I'm interested in a relationship to painting and painting you would say post medium in, in that uh, it's not so much defined by the material, or the, but uh, an idea of uh, uh, what painting might be now. Um, really, there, there it's to do with, um, when it comes to research, it's to do with what uh, questions you have that are really urgent for you, and uh, what, you know, um, what you want to begin to think about, what you want to begin to think through, develop in your work, uh, and in, in in a wider relation to, to the world. Uh, in, in a sense, collaboration makes one think about, um, as an artist, what one is doing in relation to the artwork. Uh, because very often, um, uh, the perhaps conventional idea of the artist being alone in the studio in some sort of hermetically sealed space where one melancholically uh, develops ideas is, um, you know, it's, it's throughout modernity has been questioned and critiqued and you've got people like Warhol setting up deliberately this notion of the factory uh, which suggests a different relation to, to making in relation to production um, and um, collaboration all the, all the way through, you know, whether it be manifestos, whether it be happenings, whether it, be, you know, the, um, it brings in different ideas about what it is to develop work and to make. Um, and we were talking earlier about the, the different kinds of energy that one gets from uh, making work uh, on one's own, uh, which is more perhaps hermetic and more to do with the relationship to, to thought. And perhaps when one enters collaboration, it becomes much more uh, to do with uh, trying things out, uh, allowing ideas to bounce off one another. The Greeks made a distinction in production between poesis and praxis. And uh, poesis is that thought space uh, that brings things into presence, uh, whereas praxis is very much this idea of labour and just getting getting things done in a predetermined way. Um, and uh, the Greeks tended to value poesis over praxis. Um, and um, one would say that collaboration favours praxis uh, and perhaps the internalised uh, studio um, activity is perhaps to do with poesis. Um, but maybe that's too simplistic. And, uh, but, but there's advantages of both, uh, that's, that's the point. And I think that both, um, uh, both are important to, to a developing notion of work. Well, apparently Rick was asked to do this um, collaboration with an artist, and I think he had seen my show um, previously and responded to a, a use of material um, that I was using. So he, he phoned me up and just started talking about my, you know, why I was using the materials I was using, and I think that kind of um, interested him. And uh, then he said, "Okay, let me send you a dress um, and uh, do whatever you want." And work with it. And uh, when it arrived, it arrived in this rather amazing box. And uh, I found the relation with the box to the dress kind of wonderful. Um, and then the fabric itself, it had this uh, sense of a rag. Um, and I was making these kind of uh, watercolor, sort of, sort of German romantic fragments. And, and so in making these, I took the paper that was in the box and started making, continued these watercolours and started using the dress as the rag. Uh, and then um, these motifs that were on the painting started bleeding into the dress and that's how um, it developed. And then I posted the dress and the box back to him and uh, he uh, developed it further and, and, um, and made some images and, you know, with, the, with the model. So. So interesting. Um, I think uh, uh, how I use time always is key. And um, uh, ten years ago, I didn't have two daughters that I have now, and uh, 
uh, in that sense, time is so precious and how one uses time at different uh, stages of life. Um, and I would have, you know, that would be how I use time.